Welcome into a Sunday sermon. And, uh, well, Mr. Fuller here, our interpreter, he interprets into Isi Kosa language so that, you know, people who speak Isi Kosa only can understand what Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. is saying. You said, who's saying? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Mr. Neely, that's what we're reading from Mr. Neely for the book of the United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept. The United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept. That's a right. textbook, a... workbook mm -hmm. for thought, speech, and action for victims of racism, white supremacy. white supremacy. So what page are we on now? Page 16? Six. Uh, <laughs> it's you today. Uh, oh no, I got page 69. It's something else. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. You got it right, but you... I know, but I'm saying, don't worry about it. Because it's... The it's, same thing, just like yesterday. No, it's not the same thing. Look, look. It's 6 one sixteen. No, 16 has the first of the <laughs> date that's going to go up because we're recording I, these I things understand. now so it could go up. You just don't want to be wrong about what happened no, yesterday. I, I was wrong what happened yesterday. But what and I'm I don't, saying... And, and I want to be right about what's happening right now. Yeah, but what I'm saying, you see, it's 16, yeah. 1 and 6. It's yeah, 6, 1 yeah. is and 6 what, and what's 1. That, what's that oh. mean? That means that what, somebody's dyslexic? What, what are you saying? No. Okay, back to the point. <laughs> <laughs> 61. Uh, oh, where, where do you want me to read? Here. Just at the bottom. No. Yeah, at the bottom. Does it go to the next page? For the, for the reasons. Yeah. Okay. Uh, avoid borrowing anything from anybody at any time. If you must borrow, try to borrow from white people rather than non-white people. Avoid lending a non-white person more money than you can afford to give him or her. Now, Mr. Dilly Fuller, you know, as he lays out the book, it does have, uh, this is under, under economics, by the way. Um, he has, uh, well, we might as well read his explanations for his reasons, explanations for what, what we just read. In a social material system dominated, dominated by white supremacists, which are racist, yeah. And since we're in Africa, we let's call them also colonizers. White people, colonizers, are, I'm sorry, are the greatest producers of money. White people, colonizers, are the, are the masters of money. They are the only people who have enough money to lend. White people can better afford to take chances by making loans. Many, many white people can afford to take losses on loans made to non-white people. Whereas non-white people can least afford to take losses or loans made to each other. So I keep on going? Okay, why not? Okay. In a social material system, system dominated by white supremacist colonizers, all non-white people are in a weak economic condition. 
A uh, little aside here for me, this is why reparations is needed. None of them can afford to borrow from or lend to the other. Also because white supremacy, racism, Black people are more likely to return what they borrow from white people. Than what they borrow from each other. That's why, you know, people say, can I borrow something? I say, here, take it. <laughs> That's what happens when I hang around black, black people. Yeah. Under white supremacy. Or colonialism or neo-colonialism or whatever is happening these days. Right? Many, many people are classified as black and or negro. Are, are extremely insecure. Now we're talking about in the area of economics now. They tend not to return what they borrow unless they are forced to. Therefore, to minimize conflict, it is better to give to a non-white person than um, a person that which you, uh, or well, better to yeah. give to non-white uh, that which you can afford to give. So, you know what that means. I mean, you know, well, it means what it says. Okay. Avoid lending. Hey, if you can give it, give it. If you can't, don't. If we are by, by so doing, you can. You not only will help to minimize conflict and animosity among non-white people. But you will also help to minimize dishonesty and the tendency to steal. Mm. So that went on to page uh, uh, 62. Let me say this. Uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., he broadcasts, so he transmits every Tuesday, um, um, East Coast time, Washington, D.C. time, from 9 in the morning to 11 in the morning. And, uh, and I, I listen to him all the time. I mean, at that time, I sort of download things. Oh, Mr. Nelly Fuller Jr., we are broadcasting the quick internet. It's 9 to 11. Yes. Now, because I listen to him all the time, one of the things that he said, that, that subject came up on, on capitalism. Well, all it is is at capitalism, uh, what, socialism, Marxism, I don't know, whatever they got, whatever, whatever. But he said, you know, and, and, and he, he says, because remember, he's 93 years old. Well, yeah. So he's been on the planet a long time. And he's heard a lot of definitions about stuff. And he says that from all his definitions that he's heard, he understands that cap in, cap in a capitalistic system, the 
that runs by money. There are three ways to make money. You can produce something that people will buy. You can steal. Or you can beg. And when he said that, I said, yeah, it makes perfect sense to me. You make something, you know, somebody, somebody, you, da, da, da. and then other people, they, 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 I don't, whether they know how to make, maybe they're just lazy, whatever, they'll just steal. Or you, you beg. <laughs> makes sense to me, but that's just me. T from the Patterson taking the chance to bet along with Messi Let you know what we only suspect. Yeah.